Welcome to Doris Stop. I'm Pino Gree with Shell and Snowy. Today we're exploring the Wall of Clocks. Let's go! Mm-hmm. Oh, what the heck is this world? This world is a proof of concepts that you could synchronize everyone's time zone together and being displayed on the wall of clocks using you don't think that is indeed a interesting proof of concept and it works mm-hmm. you're right so although i have a quest version but it's not guaranteed that it works properly when quest users are in not entirely helpful for quest users and that basically means that quest users like making a world with quest it's really hard to get feedback from the quest itself uh, and you cannot open log files to check what went wrong. So he just just mm. is claiming that he's saying a uh, quest should work, but I'm not sure. Well, well, interesting that he made quest work. Still doesn't tell us a lot about what this world is. Mm-hmm. Well, mm. then we have to see the wall of clocks over there. Yep, I thought that'd be a great segue. Yes. It doesn't tell us a whole lot about this world. Is. Let's move to the next bit of the room. See a little bit more of it. Mm-hmm. Now we've moved down the corridor and there are four clocks on the wall behind us. Yes, each clock represents one of us. The older one on the right is Snowy, and the, the second on the right is Pino. The one left, this one over here, the third one, is of our TM Samurai, and the last one is my clock. If you don't want to be known where you're from, then it might be a good idea not to visit this world. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. This is one way to show the distance and time between us. But there is another way available in this room, and it is interesting to look at. Let's have a look. And now we've come to the focus of the room. This large globe uh, displays our time zones, approximately. It's quite interesting to me, because we come together all the time in the VR space. But this visualizes how far apart our meat bodies really are, and how much distance we cover when we meet here. That's uh, America, East Coast, West Coast. Oh, look, it's my own personal really... prison. Western Europe kind of time. I'm surprised Western you didn't Europe. display yourself as being from Uganda or Madagascar <laughs> or Antarctica. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> it's not that hard to change time zones. But yeah, most people will use the default time zone. Oh, we should have got someone from India in there as well. Mm, yeah, that would have been nice, but Ethan's not around. Ah, look, here comes the samurai in his island vault. Volcano base in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. How how, how is it there, Masamurai? Is the weather nice? It's miserable. <laughs> Probably a little muggy. Uh, you know, Interpol, yeah. oh, by the way. MI6, other secret agencies always trying to get on your island. It must be annoying. Mm-hmm. But like the most was globe. <laughs> no. It swallows people. Yes, it does. What does it look like from inside the globe shell? Green. Green? Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I have to sneeze. Very hologramic. Oh. What? Oh. oh. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Cute. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Sorry. Oh, by the way, uh, none of these... This world doesn't know where you are exactly. It's just reading the time zone. So, if... The time song you set in Windows is the one that has been fed to VR chat, and that's the time that will be portrayed. So it only knows mm-hmm. the time zone you clicked on. So basically, you can become a world traveler if you want to. Just change time zones, restart VR chat, and poof, you'll be in Africa. Now that you or mention it, India. It being that easy, I'm surprised I didn't change my time zone. Oh, well, you know better next time. This world is an interesting place to hang out with your friends, have uh, people you trust to know where you live and things like that. Because um, it shows you something you don't usually see, which is the distance in time between you. It has some of the normal amenities. At the far end, there's a video player. The wall to the right turns into a mirror if you're into practicing your narcissism. And for the mute players, we have pets. So it's everything you need to hang out and enjoy some time. I find the concept really interesting. Um, I've seen a lot of people being really surprised when they notice where people were actually from. And you get some really surprised faces when they look at you like, What? You're from that place? <laughs> That's an interesting way to do it, yeah. This world definitely is a nice conversation starter. Snowy, and what do snowy... you think? Is it a pass or a fail? That 
that's a pass, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it has the Mute Community's approval. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.